I found that a connection between three things and let us explore this together. What are the three things? Wisdom, glory, and wealth. Now, so what is in this wisdom? What is in this glory? What constitutes this wealth? The Bible talks about unre uh, unsearchable riches of Christ in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, he called it the, the, the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. It comes via creativity and innovation. Ingenuity and taking calculated risk. Something happened this afternoon uh, during the break. The boss of the university came to me and said that um, uh, the tax that we have to pay for our staff is said is so 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 millions of naira, and it has it has to be paid. Yeah, and I said by Thursday it shall be paid. He has learned never to say any word after I've said something. Because before he will say, but there's no money. Because there will be. That's the wisdom of God we're talking about. It makes you to be relaxed in every situation. I said by Thursday he's paid. He's done. We pay salaries by wisdom. Because it, it, you see, it's wise for you to believe God, to live by faith, than to live in unbelief. Because your unbelief will not make God not to be God. But your faith will establish the supremacy and sovereignty of God over situations of life. There are many things you are troubling your head about. You just need a word of wisdom and it is done. How do you get wisdom as we pray? You get wisdom by impartation. Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. And you get it by intercession. Just like Solomon asked for wisdom. James 1 5 to 7. Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. See what the Bible says there? The Bible says uh, uh, Joshua the son of Nun was now full of the spirit of wisdom. And it was explained here, for Moses had laid his hand upon him, and the children of Israel hearkened unto him. They were not hearing him before because he was speaking nonsense. But when he began to speak wisdom, they hearkened unto him, and did as the Lord had commanded Moses. By impartation, he got the wisdom. And James chapter 1, 5 to 7, James says, does anybody lack wisdom? Do you lack wisdom? Then go ahead and ask, like Solomon asked. Because God is there to give to everyone liberally and obey not, and it shall be given. Verse 6. But let him that ask must ask for that wisdom in faith. Nothing must waver. For he that wavers like a wave of the sea driven uh, with the wind and toast. And verse 7 says, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is so stable in all his way. Please, shall we stand on your feet? Everybody stand up.